Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen the implementation of using functions, right? I mean to say, how do we invoke a function? How do we pass arguments? And then how do I uh, pass the parameters and use the functions to do a particular task? So, in comparison with function, there exist the other terminologies are modules and packages. Let me get into the details of it. Say, if I have written a function in order to compute square root of a number, okay, that becomes one of my function. Whatever is shown here can be considered as one of the function, right? I have a function written. Now, I will write another function to compute the exponential of the number, right? So, I will write another function to compute some power of some numbers, right? So, each of them are the functions. Now, put all together, I can consider this as one module, right? One module which can perform all these functions, which has all these functions in it, right? Say, together, I will call this module as math, right? Math module. Okay, so module is nothing but a .py file, right, .py file. Say example, whatever you are writing a program, right, which has uh, a function to compute a square root, which has a function to compute the exponential or uh, to compute the um, addition of two numbers, subtraction of two numbers like this. You have different functions written in a program, right. So when you save it as a .py file, Right. Unlike in a, um, your Google Colab, it will be .ipynb file. Right. But when you use on a system, if you use Jupyter-like, so you will be able to save it as with extension .py file. Right. So in that case, the entire uh, program .py file can be called as a one module. Okay. So in function, I used to define it with def. Right. So, in a module, I will be using import function, I-M-P-O-R-T, import as a one, which I can import the entire module of math, right? So, this smaller circles indicates the functions, the green color bigger, bigger oval indicates the module, okay? Several such modules can be put together to form package. Right. So, together several such modules are there. Say this is module 1, maybe a math module, this is another module, this is another module. So, like this, you have several modules put together, it becomes one package. This yellow color oval indicates a package. Right. So, like this, there can exist different modules in a package and there can exist different packages in a Python platform right so there can be package 1 package 2 package 3 till so on so forth there are so many packages that are available which we are going to see in detail in the coming videos right so they can be hierarchical in nature when i say hierarchical so it is there are different levels right so there exist hierarchy within the modules in a package right so let us see few of the modules and packages which we will be using and which has quite good number of applications. Say, uh, this slide tells you about the comparison of different modules and packages that are available, which we will be seeing in the further coming videos, right? So, as I mentioned, math is one of the module. Similarly, I have a module by name time, then module by name random, date or time module, then OS module. In order to use all these things, I will be using import as a keyword. How we have used a DEF in order to define a function, in order to use a module, I will be using import. Okay. On the other hand, I have several packages which can be installed while you are writing a program. Right. So, or which can be imported as well. Right. So, import NumPy, you can import these packages such that all the modules, all the functions that are available, is available when you use to write a program, right? So, like this, we will get into the details of each of these packages in the coming videos. 
Okay. Hope you understood the difference between a function, module and a package. Right. See you in the next video. Thank you.